if someone were to ask me to describe myself, I think resilience would be probably the, the word I would use to describe myself. My name is Brie Laville. Um, I moved here from the Caribbean when I was like nine years old. We grew up in Dundalk, had my uh, three sisters, my mom and my dad. Life was interesting. It was a big change for us. So I felt from that moment on like I had to kind of become very self-reliant and independent yet be someone very strong for my sisters and for my mom and my dad. I think I grew up a lot faster than a lot of you know children. When I was 18 I decided I wanted to adventure out and just kind of see what life had to offer behind you know uh, beyond the walls of Dundalk. So I left and I went to school in England for four years. That's when I really felt like I grew up and where I really started to become the person that I am today. I came back here and things were very difficult for me, the readjustment, but I'm still working through it. I just think I'm a very resilient person. I think that's, if someone were to ask me to describe myself, I think resilience would be probably the, the word I would use to describe myself. I'm a child of a preacher and I grew up very conservative. I grew up very reserved. However, I broke out of that and I decided to just be who I want to be. I decided to follow freedom, to follow, you know, what I thought was best for me, to follow my intuition. Um, and so now you see me here with the bold colors, you know, you see me just kind of breaking all of what a lot of people think should be, you know, a girl of my color and of my age and of, you know, whatever. I feel like being a dark-skinned black woman in America, I should be maybe a little bit more reserved with myself. I should maybe be a little bit angrier with the world for you know the cards that you know the hand that i've been given however i'm someone i still believe even though the world might see me in the bottom of the totem pole i still believe i'm incredibly powerful i'm someone who's actually very introverted and has a lot of social anxiety um I've opened up myself through social media, um, especially, to share who I am, to share my life, to share my deepest thoughts and feelings with people all around the world. You know, I have people who follow me from countries I've never heard of, little small countries, you know, in Africa, and they'll message me fully in French and I have to like translate it. Um, you know, and people from Brazil and all these places and they just reach out to me and, you know, we talk about so many things that they may have felt alone in. I open myself to them because I think a lot of people do feel alone and they feel afraid to talk about these things, you know, deep inside. Um, someone close to me in my family, you know, would say that I was being too much. I was being ghetto with the way that I was expressing myself. And a lot of girls feel like that. A lot of dark skinned girls, they just feel you have to have a certain kind of dress. Like you can't be extravagant. If you are extravagant in the way that you look or you dress or you the things that you say or if you come up too confident, then you're gonna be shut down. You're gonna be knocked down. Like that's just the world. The world's gonna see you and they're just going to beat you down. I think we talk about that a lot. You know, the girls are like, you know, before I met you, like I was afraid to wear hair. Like I was afraid to express myself. I was afraid to wear lipstick. And this might not seem like a big deal to a lot of people, but when you keep so many things bottled inside, like you already, you already feel like you can't be yourself and like you can't even dress the way that you want to. It, 
it eats at you and it makes you feel very small. It was almost also a journey for my for myself as well. I look at the social media experience as a personal journey. I was becoming somebody that I didn't really like when I was working at um, this company. I wasn't taking care of myself. I was becoming kind of very shady, shaded. I don't know if that's a word, but I'm becoming shaded, jaded. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. Um, so yeah, when I was working at this company, I was becoming somebody that I didn't really like. So I took the leap of faith and I said, I'm going to go on the social media journey because it looks like I have like at least the groundwork of what needs to be done. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go on this journey and we're going to see what comes from this. I didn't know it was going to take so many years, you know, to get to the, I guess the person that I wanted to be, but I've accepted like so much of life is the journey and not really getting to the destination. So I've really learned to enjoy it. I don't know if this is going to be a long term thing for me. The, my goal in life, my purpose in life is to make other people feel happy, to make them feel valued, to make them feel strong and beautiful. So I feel like right now, ah, sorry, I'm crying. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. My goal in life, and I feel like what my purpose is, is just to help people, specifically women, but it can be anyone, feel valued, feel beautiful, strong, and happy. And I actually feel like, even though I'm like a smaller influencer, I feel that I'm actually doing that at this moment from the personal messages people send me. I feel like I'm doing my purpose. However, I'm somebody that likes to grow and I like to continue, you know, like to see where life takes me. Before I met my husband, I was planning to move to Korea to teach English because um, I love traveling and it's really interesting. Even though I'm an immigrant to this country, I'm still looking for my home. In the future, it's something, it's just like a little dream I have, but like to have like a school for girls, maybe like um, underprivileged girls and it kind of helps them to build um, character, it helps them to you know build confidence, it helps them to build some things that you they might not get from home, but it's like a safe place, a place that just empowers them. So that's something that I would love to do. I would always love to go back to the Caribbean and um, do something along the lines. If it was if I were to work with like younger children, it would be involved in sports and team building and. Just anything that empowers people and that kind of gives them that strength they need to like really face this world. Like that is something that I would like to do. So yeah, anything that is along those lines where it comes to, you know, just helping people see their value and their beauty. I'm, I'm down for that road. I'm down for that journey. Hi, I'm the Bold Bree. Hey, it's a wrap. <laughs> yeah.